Hey folks, Alex McMahon here of Evolve Nutritional Therapy. Today we're going to be continuing on in our series on nutrition myths. And today is going to be myth number five, which is your metabolism slows with age and makes it much easier for you to gain body fat. Now the fact of the matter is, as you get a little bit older and your age gets up there, you will actually see a reduction in muscle mass. And that reduction in muscle mass will account for a small reduction in your basal metabolic rate, which is known as your bed rest calories. That's the amount of calories that it requires to maintain basic physiological functions within the body. However, what we need to examine here is that that small reduction in your basal metabolic rate doesn't cause such a large reduction in the amount of calories that you burn on a day-to-day -day basis that it's going to make it significantly easier to gain a lot of body fat. So what we need to do is we need to take a look at some other lifestyle factors that could play a role in this. One of the very first things is that as people get older, they will have a propensity to go to the gym less. If you go to the gym less, your ability to maintain muscle mass will, will go down along with your ability to also build any muscle. As you get older, you definitely do have the capacity to still build muscle, but only if you're sending that stimulus to your body by going to the gym. And so, see that if you're not going to the gym the three to four times that you used to go, then also the amount of calories that you would typically burn in the gym would also go down. Now this isn't gonna account for a large amount of calories that are being burned. However, when it comes to fat loss, any kind of calories are gonna add up. So let's take a look at some other things that could potentially affect this as well. Another thing is that in general, as people age, they just lead a more sedentary lifestyle. They don't walk as much, they don't go out and do active things as much, they have a lot more of a sedentary lifestyle, they just essentially move less. Along with this, a lot of the social activities that people engage in as they get older are going to revolve around the consumption of alcohol, the consumption of indulgent food, and then also fewer of them are going to revolve around doing any kind of active work. So you're not going to be hiking as much. You may not be going camping as much. You may not go play frisbee or soccer with your friends at the drop of a hat on a sunny Saturday. So right then and there, we can see that your basic level of activity on a day-to-day -day basis is actually going to decrease as you get a little bit older. So what this all translates over into is a reduction in your NEAT. So NEAT is known as non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And this is going to be a component of your metabolism that accounts for the calories that are burned when you're not formally exercising. So this means you're walking, you're um, fidgeting, doing yard work, washing the dishes, making dinner. All these different kinds of things are going to account for your NEAT. So if your NEAT goes down, that also is going to translate into fewer calories being burned throughout the day. Now, besides your basal metabolic rate, the next thing that actually burns the most amount of calories for people on a day-to-day -day basis is their NEAT activity. So this right here is the largest reason that most people are actually going to be gaining weight as they get older is because as their NEAT decreases, the amount of calories that you burn on a day-to-day -day basis will also significantly decrease. Now this means if you're eating the exact same amount that you've always eaten to maintain your body weight, however now you're burning way fewer calories, it's going to make it much easier for you to gain body fat. So if you've always burned this amount, and now you're burning this amount, but you're still eating enough to fuel this amount of activity and this amount of things like that, but your activity and overall movement is down here, the gap between those is gonna be the amount of body fat that you could potentially gain. So when we look at this, we can see that it doesn't really have to do with your metabolism necessarily slowing down that makes it much easier for you to gain body fat as you get older. What makes it much easier for you to gain body fat is your basic lifestyle. Some of those things are going to be going to the gym less, so then your overall activity expenditure is gonna go down on a weekly basis. Engaging in more sedentary social activities, so you're not gonna be going hiking or playing soccer or going out camping or anything like that. You're most likely gonna be grabbing drinks or coffee or going to a barbecue or something like that. Also, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're just gonna be more sedentary. You're gonna have a more sedentary day-to-day -day lifestyle in terms of not getting out and going for walks and basic things like that. You're just gonna move around less. That's going to cause a reduction in the amount of NEAT that you have on a day-to-day -day basis, which can account for a large amount of calories. That means you're going to expend fewer calories, and then if you eat the same amount that you've always eaten while expending fewer calories, that's going to easily account for the amount of fat that you're going to be gaining. So that's the reason why your metabolism doesn't necessarily slow as you age, leading to body fat. It has to do with your lifestyle. Thanks for watching.